and welcome to Frights of Feywood. I, I really don't know what to do at that point, so <laughs> you keep getting me looking like a crazy person, being scary. <laughs> Not really. Uh, anyway, I thought today we would do another get ready with me. I'm going to do, I think, like a forest witch inspired type of look. At least that's what's in my head right now. Whether the outcome is that, we, we shall see. I wanted to also play with my moon spell palette this time. So I'm trying to stick to my spookier palettes because of Halloween and all of that. So just to remind you, that's what we're playing with there. Now... I mentioned in my previous Get Ready With Me that um, uh, they're coming out with the Moonspell 2 and it has actually launched. I'll pop a picture up here. I really want to get it. <laughs> but I have to try and remind myself, like, do I want to get it because of packaging or because of the eyeshadow? And I think, if I'm honest, it's a lot to do with the packaging. Um, I showed it to my husband and he was like, don't you have those colours already? I'm like... You're such a killjoy. <laughs> you should be saying you need it. You need... No, I don't need it. I don't need any eyeshadow. And, like, the logical part of me is saying you you probably have those colours, most of them at least, and you probably don't need it. And, you know, you've got plenty of eyeshadow palettes to play with, blah, blah, blah. But then the makeup goblin in me is like... You need the pretties. Uh, the makeup goblin is winning <laughs> right now, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's kept at bay a little bit by the fact that I have got an eyeshadow palette coming. So there's that. Right. So anyway, um, I, as I mentioned, I want to do like a foresty witch thing. Uh, I've got another new pair of earrings from Levisa. I sound so sponsored when I say that, but like I just did this massive order. I mentioned last time um, that I did. And I don't know if you can tell with these, but um, I realized they've got like little green stones in them. Because I was like, oh, what earrings will I wear that will go with what I'm thinking of doing? And I'm like, well, stars don't really go with like forest witch, do they? But then it had green in it. So I was like, all right, done and done. We're going to do it. <laughs> it. It would be better probably having some kind of like cascading leaves or something. But uh, I didn't really have anything that was that I was feeling. So these ones came out. It's the first time wearing these ones, but... I'll stop, I'll stop rambling for a little bit and we'll do some makeup. <laughs> As I did last time, I'll try and put everything that I'm using down below just in case anyone is interested in anything that I'm using. I've noticed I tend to like lean out of screen when I'm doing my makeup because I'm trying to look in the mirror. So I'm going to attempt not to do that as much this time because uh, that doesn't really help anybody, does it? <laughs> she says as she leans out of screen. <laughs> Problem is, you guys are up here and my mirror is down here. I kind of need to, like, I don't know, put it on something. Maybe I need to put it on something. <laughs> All right, I think we're cooking with gas now. I just put it on a box and so I can see. <laughs> also, if you notice this, a little band-aid situation, I went for a walk the other day and I don't know what happened, but somehow I managed to trip on my own feet and face plant the concrete. So that was fun. Uh, luckily my face itself didn't hit but like my hand flew out and stopped it. Um, but I've got grazing like all down my elbows and my knees where I sort of fell onto my um, knees and, and elbows. Oh god. It, nothing worse than like getting those like scrapes all the way down your skin. Ugh. Too much. <laughs> Alrighty. Got a bit of a base there. I need to put some powder on. Oh, so what's been going on, guys? It's Halloween month. What's been happening in your world? All sorts of things are happening, good and bad, around these parts. I get my vaccine next week, my second one, so uh, looking forward to that. Just looking forward to feeling safe because we've got Delta variant running rampant and all of that. Um, so I'm hoping, though, that I'm going to be well. I'm getting the Pfizer one, so I've heard that the second one can make you a bit 
and unwell so I don't know how I'll be I'm trying to film ahead a little bit but because I'm trying to do extra videos in October I don't know how that's gonna go partly again why I said I, I can't promise anything as far as like how many videos I'm gonna do I did have this like idea of doing all these extra videos but I thought let's just not push the envelope too much because I don't know we'll see how it goes we're still in lockdown here to an extent I mean they've eased some rules but I, most of those rules don't apply to me because I haven't had my second vaccine yet so uh, it's like yeah you can travel a bit further and meet people in a park if you've been vaccinated and stuff that that's the extent of what you can do maybe some sports I think um my husband wants to go and play golf he can go and do that and like tennis and a couple other ones and stuff like that but it's not a great deal right now um so yeah there's not much happening here in Melbourne currently we were supposed to go uh to see Moulin Rouge um at a, like a stage show as an anniversary uh, celebration for me and my husband my uh, like our wedding anniversary but they cancelled it because group events aren't going to happen for some time and I think uh, Dan said they rescheduled it for like next year I want to say March or April or something so they're really trying to make sure that <laughs> there's plenty of time um, to make sure things are open uh, which is yeah fair enough because we're very slowly opening so who knows also, if any of you are beauty YouTube watchers, you probably heard the really sad news that Mel Thompson passed away. And yeah, it was such a shock. I've watched her channel for years now. Uh, and like, I hadn't watched her last few videos though. So, uh, and I think she might have, because uh, I went back and rewatched them. She mentioned something about ha having been unwell recently. And I knew she was unwell for a while. With things but she wasn't very um, open about a lot of the struggles that she had so I really didn't realize how bad it was um, and it took me by a lot of surprise to hear that she'd passed away it was so sad I can't stop like watching her videos and there's been some really nice tribute videos for her as well um, if you don't know her uh, she was a very talented makeup artist uh, had four kids um, seemed really lovely and uh yeah it's just really it's just really sad I I didn't know her personally at all um but it's yeah I'm I mean I'm getting a bit teary just thinking about it just because um you know she was a channel that I watched all the time I really enjoyed her content she seemed really lovely and it's just such a loss so uh condolences to anyone who knew her or watched her or um you know just grieving her passing at the moment because it was just a really sad loss so side tangent I um pulled out some random material that's actually um like off cuts and things like that that I've used for um making various things like it's a, a black satin I was using it for Dan's costume and I used it as a backdrop to film something I really shouldn't do makeup on this because I'm already making a mess on it I'm like oh need to be able to use this for other projects so I'm gonna be really ca careful hopefully because uh, yeah I don't want to like go to make something out of this and find big <laughs> makeup powder stains on it or whatever going in with some hourglass bronzer I haven't used this one for a while so I pull it out it's a little dark for me as you can probably tell <laughs> but it blends very nicely so put powder everywhere <laughs> hourglass blush Ugh. um I mean it's meant to be bougie and like it's already broken I got this like not even a year ago oh well or was it a year ago I don't know I can't even tell anything to do with time anymore I'm gonna focus mostly with this color here the darker green uh, Marnie 
I'm wanting like a green kind of smoky look. I also want to add a bit of extra touches which hopefully we'll get to later. I'm definitely going to have to speed past most of what I'm doing because this video will be way too long otherwise with all the things I'm wanting to do as far as the makeup look goes so we'll see how we go. going well but I just went out because I had to get something that I forgot to grab and Dan sitting there with Loki sitting on him. Loki's been nuzzling like um, like suckling and we're trying to break him out of the habit like his brother is fine but for whatever reason he just won't stop the habit. Oh, it's so frustrating. We're trying our best to keep him away from anything that sets him off for suckling but it seems like so many things set, it, set him off especially anything fluffy like wool and other things like set him off but sometimes anything he'll just nuzzle anything so if you've got any tips guys let us know <laughs> so far. I need to put shimmers on the eyes and I kind of want to add some moss to my face. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to play with some things. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but I have a feeling that I want to put some green eyeshadow on my face in some places and give myself like a swamp queen look. I really should have wet my brush with those shimmers but I was being lazy and I didn't want to get up again and go and get my spray bottle so I have some fallout. <laughs> you really want to brush fallout away really softly without pressing in at all because that's when you'll get smears on your face and depending on the formula you can't avoid it. <laughs> uh, I managed to get away scot-free with that one so thank god. I hear a kitten scraping at the front door, <laughs> but they can't come in. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm a meanie. Yeah. You can't come in, Loki. I'm sorry.
Okay, so I'm gonna put some green lipstick on and then we're gonna add some more things. <laughs> try and add some mossy bits onto my face with some of this uh, spirit gum. <laughs> What's wrong, Loki? That's a lot of crying. He's been out of sorts today. I don't know what's going on. He's had some food. He went to the kitty litter. He's had some cuddles, but he's still running around crying like this for some reason. Not sure. He's been at my door. Most of the time, I have a feeling he just wants to go into some of the rooms that he's not meant to explore in. Don't you? You want to have a look around everywhere? Well, guys, that's the finished look. With a kitten. <laughs> he's feeling very clean right now, I think. Uh, yeah, so I might have to go and tend to the kitten. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me put together this forest witchy kind of look. Uh, there's more to come so make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more Halloweeny stuff and whatever else is coming after that. Uh, make sure you do hit subscribe and for the rest of you I'll see you next time in Feywood. Bye guys. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Aww. Aww. What's up? What's up little Loki?